Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm riding an M2S M600 electric bike. This is a full suspension, all-terrain electric mountain bike, and to me, this makes a great commuter bike. And that might sound kind of weird because you don't normally think of electric mountain bikes as being commuter bikes, but I'm gonna tell you guys the top five reasons why I think full suspension electric mountain bikes make the best commuter bikes. Now, reason number one is comfort. There's a reason why cars have suspension and why motorcycles have suspension and why scooters have suspension. Scooters like Vespas, not like Razor scooters. It's because they're more comfortable. When you hit bumps or like this curb thing coming up here, I barely felt that, you know, because I've got not only full suspension, but I've got these big mountain bike tires. These are three inch tires on the M2S M600. They're not quite fat tires, but they're almost fat tires. And this thing, it just feels like I'm riding on a cloud, you know, like you're not doing this on a fixie or a little road bike frame. And so whenever you need to hit bumps or curbs, just like that, you know, I can stay in the saddle. Maybe you need to go over some grass here. You know, you're not doing this on like a little road bike. You're not. So just for the comfort of having a full suspension bike that you feel like you're floating on a cloud while you're commuting, that's really a big deal for me. So that's one of my first reasons why I like to take these full suspension bikes and use them as commuter bikes. Now, the second reason is power. With an electric mountain bike, you're generally getting a more powerful motor. This motor is the uh, M600 from Bafong. It's a mid-drive motor. It's got 120 Newton meters of torque. It's, uh, it's actual wattage, uh, I don't think it's actually released by Bafong, but it's known to get a peak wattage of over 1,000 watts. These bikes just have strong motors because they're meant to be climbing hills, riding on dirt, that sort of thing. So you're gonna get a better motor, a stronger motor, when you go with a, an all-terrain or a mountain bike just because they're meant for much more grueling riding than the type of riding that you normally find on a city bike or a hybrid bike. All right, so reason number three relates to the batteries. Electric mountain bikes generally have better batteries. Either they're larger because uh, electric mountain bikes require more energy when you're riding in dirt and riding uphill, or they're made with better cells because they have to deliver more power over longer periods. If you're just pedaling along like this, you're really not using that much power. I'm probably using like 200 watts or something right now. I'm going about 12, 13 miles an hour. So this is a very easy pace. I might be using less than 200 watts. So for an actual city bike, you don't need a very strong battery. You can get away with cheap cells, but on electric mountain bikes, especially good ones like this one, they're always gonna use name brand cells, whether that's Sony or Panasonic or LG or Samsung. And generally the batteries are gonna be rated for higher power. So that just means they're gonna last longer. You're not gonna have a battery pack that's dying on you after a year. It's gonna last for years and years. So to have a battery that's gonna last a long time is a big deal for me. And that's another reason I like these full suspension mountain bikes is commuter bikes. So the fourth reason is that you get a much more robust bike when you go with a full suspension electric mountain bike. These bikes are just meant to handle a lot more. You know, they're meant for riding off-road, for hitting jumps. They're designed to do things that city bikes were never meant to do. And if you've ever felt like your bike isn't enough in the city, you know, you're hitting curbs, potholes, and you just feel the whole bike rattling around, it's because those bikes are really meant for bike lanes, you know? They're meant for riding in a, in a nice straight path, and they're not designed to take a lot of abuse. So that's another reason that I like these full suspension electric mountain bikes, is because they're just designed to be stronger, more robust bikes. And you can do things like that, like hitting a curb, and you don't have to worry about it. All right, now the fifth reason for choosing an electric mountain bike as a commuter bike is that you don't arrive to work all sweaty and tired. And sure, this kind of applies to all electric bikes, so you're probably wondering, you know, why did you include this one? And part of it's because it's true, and part of it's because I needed a fifth reason, because a list of four reasons doesn't sound as good. But seriously, this is another reason I like these electric mountain bikes, is because when I'm commuting to work, I'm not really trying to get a bunch of exercise, you know? And that's fine if you are. There are a lot of people that like to cycle to work for exercise. For me, I'm using an electric bike as a commuter vehicle. I'm using it to get out of a car. I'm using it so I don't have to pay for gas or parking or insurance. And that means I want something that's gonna be just like a very easy to ride vehicle that isn't gonna have me getting to my destination all sweaty and tired. So for all the reasons that I listed, the fact that they've got better motors, better batteries, they're more comfortable. All of these reasons help make electric mountain bikes the perfect commuter bike in my opinion. Now there are some downsides to using an electric mountain bike, especially a full suspension bike, as a commuter bike. And the biggest downside I can think of is probably weight. You know, these components are not light. You've got a suspension fork, you've got suspension linkage in the rear, you've got these big tires, 
the bikes just they add up and they weigh more so if you need to carry your bike upstairs to an apartment every day this might not be the type of bike for you however the nice thing about electric bikes is that you just don't have so much of a weight penalty you know if you're pedaling a normal mountain bike that's not electric every few pounds you add is really going to add a lot of effort to the ride but with an electric bike you know i've got this nice strong mid-drive motor here i can add 10 pounds to this bike and i'm not even going to feel the difference when i'm riding in a straight line if i take it off a jump yeah then i'm going to feel the difference but i'm not doing a lot of jumps on the way to work so yes you are getting a heavier bike when you go with a all-terrain mountain bike but because it's electric you just don't have those same weight penalties so for all those reasons i listed electric mountain bikes and especially full suspension electric mountain bikes make the best commuter vehicles in my opinion but i do want to hear what you guys think so let me know in the comments below if you think that these types of electric mountain bikes make great commuter bikes or whether you'd want to stick with a city bike or even electric city bike last but not least if you like the video we hope you'll give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of electrex electric vehicle videos we'll see you next time Thank you.